What's good, YouTube? It's that fantasy guy back with another video. And today, I want to discuss the 101 in rookie drafts. So for the 2021 draft class, who will be your 101? To me, it's simple. But to others, it have been a discussion. Look, let's start with one quarterback leagues. If you play in a one quarterback leagues without a shadow of a doubt, your 101 should be Najee Harris. Period. That's where the buck stops. I have heard an argument for ETN, for Travis ETN. I personally don't think it's an argument. If it was last year, you would have took Travis Etienne over Najee Harris. I would have understood. At least you would have because it depends on what his height and weight is for me to really buy in. He might be uh, a, a, a satellite running back size. And I'm not, I don't buy into those. You know, they got to fit into my model. But, unfortunately, neither one of them came out last year. They decided to do another year. And guess what? Najee Harris looked even better than he did previously. It's nothing this guy can't do. Whether it's catching the ball or running it. It's nothing he can't do. But ETN did not run the ball as well as he did in previous seasons. He, he did work in his passes. He did catch a lot of passes. But I'm pretty sure that was discussed with the coaching staff to make sure that was a box check. I need to catch passes. I need to make my draft profile look even better. I'm pretty sure that was discussed. And, you know, so that was... So those touches were manufactured touches made to happen. There's only, and I'm just thinking off the fly of my head. I'm not looking at all the teams currently. There's only probably two teams come up that would even, you know, make maybe there'd be an argument for ETN over Harris. And what, if you went to the Steelers? Or if he was drafted by the Buccaneers, you know, of course, both drafted him like the second round, you know, giving him, you know, a nice amount of draft capital. That was it. That's the, off the top of my head. That's it. I can't think of nowhere else that would draft him that I would just be hyped about. Like, just automatically, you know, because you remember CEH got that boost because of his landing spot with Kansas City. And I personally think you could drop Najee Harris anywhere and he's going to be fine. But if, if Lord knows, if he has one of those spots that looks sexy, oh, it's going to be, he's going to be the undisputed 101. In one QB leagues. You know, I, I already think he, he is. He should be. Because I'm high on him. Love his profile. Love this film I watch. I'm hey, I'm high on him. The only knock he has that some dynasty leaguers don't like is his age. He's an older prospect. He's 20. He's going to be 23 when the league, when the season starts. I'm not worried about that because I play Dynasty Leagues in two to three year increments. That doesn't bother me. He'll be on my team next couple years and I'll be out the league or I'll flip him if he's getting older. It's simple. It's simple. But if you're in the Super Flex League, I have still... I am still hearing a lot of people beat the drum for Najee Harris. Superflex League, I don't care. Give me the running back. 
They still want the running back. Only way that I can get behind you drafting Najee Harris in a Superflex League, if you had at least three good quarterbacks on your team already, and I said at least. Like I have I have a few teams that I got Mahomes, Lamar, and Justin Herbert. Because I was on Justin Herbert last year. I got a few teams like I'm not gonna say a few, a couple of teams like that. So my quarterback position is straight. But still, unless my running back situation was just dire, I don't know if I would pass up Trevor Lawrence to go to Najee Harris. I just don't know because they're saying this man is the next best thing since Andrew Luck. And I know how much I love Andrew Luck, and a lot of y'all love Andrew Luck, too. So, I'm sorry. If the man that is that much of a touted prospect, how can I pick Najee Harris over him? I just can't do it. It's not going to be this many Trevor Lawrence that come in the league. Najee Harris, as good as he is, I never viewed him as a once in a lifetime specimen. Like when I watch Saquon Barkley tape, I saw a once in a lifetime specimen. <laughs> but I didn't, I, you know, I thought Najee Harris tape was very good. But he just wasn't no generational talent that I just had to have on my team. And I honestly. And I'm not going to say I'm the best quarterback scout. But when I watch Lawrence. I will have to say. He's probably the best thrower I've ever seen. Like uh, as far as a prospect. And I've only been doing prospects for about four years now. He's probably the best thrower of the ball I've ever seen as a prospect. In the last four years. But it's just not, he didn't just like, oh, man, I got to have him on my team because I'm, I'm, I'm more so, I'm more so lean towards the Konami code quarterbacks. But my notes say things like the most catchable ball I ever seen. <laughs> the band was placing a ball like right in people's hands. Like, they didn't even have to move. All they had to do is, you know, pretty much turn their hands upside down and the ball would have fell in their hands softly. Like, his ball placement is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, I know he's going to be fine in this league. Only thing, you know, giving me PSD is him being linked to Andrew Luck and Andrew Luck retiring Two weeks before the damn season started. He hurt a lot of people. He hurt me in a lot of in a lot of redraft leagues that I went heavy on him. Andrew Luck is the reason that I diversify my players when drafting. Why I won't get the same player every draft. Even though I'm like, I know this player gonna smash. I will not get the same player every draft unless it's uh, a lower round pick. If it's a it's a, if I know I'm spending, you know, draft capital, high draft capital on a player, I'm going to diversify my teams, you know, because of that would happen. Now, that, that, that year, two years ago, where I had Lamar Jackson on damn near every team, it's because I got Lamar Jackson way, you know, late in the draft. So I was able to bank on him on every team. You know, and it was a win because if I would have lost Lamar Jackson, I would have had another starting back, starting quarterback because he was my second quarterback on all them teams. So, 
to get back on track, Trevor Lawrence should be your one-on-one -on -one in Superflex. It's not going to be, not only is a, a quarterback with a certain future with a franchise, and I'm, I'm talking about certain, a guaranteed four years, five years, going to be with the franchise. He is going to play out his rookie contract. You can't even think about that many quarterbacks that's going to be with the same team, guaranteed, for the next five years. So you're not only getting a quarterback, but you're getting a quarterback in a stable situation. You're not only getting a very talented player, you're getting a very talented player that will be in a stable situation. So, Najee Harris, if he do what he need to do his first year, his, his value is going to go up, just like all the other rookie running backs did this year. His value is going to go up. And depending on what he do his second season, his value might dip or whatever. But Trevor Lawrence's value, as he get used to the NFL, more experience, I'm telling you, his value will only go up and stay the same. His value is not going to be no large dip. It's impossible. Catastrophic injury. It's impossible to see his value dip because he's that talented. And let me let you out on a secret. If you're in super flex leagues, your 102 still shouldn't be Najee Harris. Because guess who's not that far away from Trevor Lawrence? Justin Fields, who has been a highly touted prospect for the longest. One of the most talented prospects of all times also. I mean, he's not that far up there with Trevor Lawrence, but he's still one of the most talented and highest graded prospects of all time. He's just been getting shadowed by Trevor Lawrence. So the 102 is not Najee Harris. It's just the Fields. And I love Najee Harris. But Justin Fields is definitely that Konami code. So unless you just so much so squared away, so squared away at quarterback, you shouldn't be passing up on him. And I just wanted to put that out there. Anyway, that's it for me. Remember, there's no offseason for champions. I'm out.